Um, I went in looking for a makeup box the other day because I keep my medications in one and it was falling to bits. So I found for 32 bucks a $100 gift set box or worth one or a $32 box worth a hundred bucks because of all of the stuff it comes with. And I'm thinking, why spend a hundred bucks for an empty box when I can also grab a few things that I can play with and it's all based on Disney Pixar, one of my favorite movies, Monsters, Inc. Which, Monsters, of course, being a very interesting theme for today's discussion. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to be doing just a little quickie, and then I am going, uh, that, that also comes in later on in today's episode. So, let's begin the show. There are those... Everyone has a lawyer joke. Everyone has a story about a lawyer saying something particularly stupid in a court of law. It's like they took out their stupid and they dusted it off, they dressed it up in a tuxedo, and now they're taking it out for walkies in public. Do not take out your stupid for walkies in public. We are all victims of morons. We are all victims of our own moron sea, shall we say. But y'all, 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 maybe give things a bit of a think before you say something that is so iconically stupid that people mock it for generations. Because from what I can see, and I don't watch a lot of court TV, I don't watch a lot of the news because it is fucking depressing. And I know that a lot of people will say, well, I don't watch TV, I don't watch, you know, you still get your sources from somewhere, mostly Facebook and Twitter. But it was a case, the, Carl, the Kyle Rittenhouse case, which I'm not sure how I feel, but I do know that they are making a hash out of this and being just as moronic, if not more so, than, for example, why did you run away from the fire? Uh, well, I mean, there was a fire. Duh. I mean, do humans usually come back... Do humans usually stay where there's a fire? Come on, dude, bro. But do humans typically stay? Hello? Um, which brings out, there are iconic stories of stupidity. Uh, people, for example, the guy who's talking to a defendant who was later found not guilty and saying things like, yeah, but the knives in your kitchen have fingerprints all over them. Your fingerprints. Yeah, I mean, it's my kitchen where I cook and I touch those knives in the process of cooking. All the knives at your house probably have your fingerprints on them. Or the maids, because I I wouldn't trust you to boil water. But anyway, because, bro, I would not trust you to boil water. But, okay. Because, broski, I would not. So, and then, of course, there's the occasional jokes where an attorney is like, Oh, yeah, well, you seem like a very, very classy and educated man, very intelligent, la di da di da And the person on the stand says, why, thank you. I'd return the compliment if I weren't under oath. And we have all met our fair share, I am sure, of stupid people that we end up having to be polite to because otherwise, 
we find ourselves in trouble because sometimes that stupid person is unfortunately in power uh, and I admit wholeheartedly to being a little less fond of these power brokers and these complete and total morons that run our lives daily. And yeah, I can see where, you know, sometimes rules are meant to be broken. Sometimes the law and what is legal is actually morally wrong, which is a bit of a problem, especially when you were brought up with, now remember, uh, remember to respect authority, even if you don't agree with them. It's very hard to respect someone when, quite frankly, their actions are reprehensible. Girl, no. Let's not do this. Dude, no. Let's not do this. Let, let's not go in this direction. I am not going to give respect to people who behave in reprehensible ways. I am also extremely, extremely dissatisfied with the way that the world is right now. And I cannot, for the life of me, um, I don't feel comfortable with the way that the world is right now and the fact that people are being asked to respect people and situations that are beyond the pale. I don't like, you know, but there are people in this world who, bless their, who are not uh, in their right minds. These people are honestly complete innocence. And it feels so bad that people use the word moron to talk about them and about people who are purposefully stupid and purposefully mean and nasty as opposed to people who have spent their entire lives fighting for themselves and y'all 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 you don't deserve that and there are times when you are watching a court case and you're thinking dude i have drain damage and I can honestly tell you that this is the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen in my life. This, this makes people with brain damage look bad. Because you obviously need to go get neurological help. Now, <clears throat> while we're here, let's talk about one of the most iconic court cases in ancient times. There was a courtesan named Phryne. You might know this name if you are a fan of Cocaine Blues, the book series, or it's a 1920s era TV show from the BBC called Miss the Fr Friday Fisher Mysteries. And it is fantastic, by the way. Check it out. Um, but what I'm saying is that okay so she is named for a courtesan named Phryne. Now Phryne means frog and I am presuming that the stories are about a woman who has skin roughly the color of this and is called basically the Greek word for frog. So I'm, I always call her the froggy courtesan. Now, this froggy courtesan got sued by this dude, and, is, and they're basically like, well, you know, you, you are a sex worker, you are, you know, doing all these things, and you are just, you know, what about our children? Won't someone please think of the children? Now, 
was Phryne, by the way. Really yellow? Well, I'm thinking of a very, very sassy, sexy Marge Simpsonopolis. Okay, so our sexy Marge is like, dudes, seriously? Y'all have come to see me, first of all. Monogamy? Never heard of her! Also, I am more than just a sex worker, blah, 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 blah. And this guy is a complete and total twatopotamus. Well, in politer and more Greek words. And her lawyer, who is also her lover, because that could not possibly go wrong, is defending her. And they are just treating poor Phryne like crap. And he finally says, look, how can you find anything this beautiful, this worthy, guilty, and put it to death? That would go against God's laws. That would go against everything. And he stripped her bare in public as a way of saying she is not only innocent, but you are going after something wonderful and beautiful. And you should all... <coughs> It's not the Rona. I swear. Okay, so you are just going after all this. And they won the court case on basically on the strength of she was beautiful and she was made beautiful. I would let, I do not think that this could ever happen in a modern court case. Uh, hello. Although I'm sure someone would try it. So anyway, I'm just here to rant. I'm also here to talk about Greek court cases, apparently. So, and if you are looking for something to watch, I highly suggest the Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live sketch regarding Satan or Mephistopheles going to court to pick up damages from a lawsuit put up against him when one of his deals goes south with the iconic Phil Hartman as Judge Wapner. And by the way, I don't actually remember the real Judge Wapner, but people say that he did a really good job mimicking him. I remember when watching the People's Court at my grandma's, it was the former mayor of New York. And for a little while in the 90s, Judge Judy's husband. But anyway, so if you're looking for that, that'll be in the links and uh, y'all are loved. Take really, really good care of yourselves and uh, don't, don't dress up your stupid in tuxedos. Everyone's got some stupid. Let's be honest here. Bless all of our hearts. Don't dress up your stupid in a tuxedo and take it out for an airing in public. Think and do not, do not basically attempt to hurt another person by taking them and dishing out all of their crap in public and accusing them of crimes they didn't commit, you are wrong. You just don't. Do not use the court system as revenge or a way of getting things from another person because you didn't like the way they parted their hair one day or something. And just remember, you are so loved. Be kind to yourselves and be kind to others.